Well, the National Rifle Association is holding its fourth annual Celebration of American Values Leadership Forum today in Charlotte, North Carolina. Former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin is the featured speaker. And just a few moments ago, she ripped into Hollywood celebrities for speaking out for gun control. If Hollywood celebrities really were so worried about violent crime, perhaps they should look at their own industry. They hate guns, and yet... You know, they have no problem starring in shoot 'em up action films with bullets flying and blood splattering and dainty little starlets carrying their AK 47s and big old machine guns. And American gun owners and hunters, we're not the ones that are glorifying violence and abuse. Hollywood should look to its own business and clean it up, and then they can tell us how to live our lives. Hmm. Kathy Rue is the owner and publisher of Catalina Magazine and is a contributing editor for the Washington Post Magazine. Good day to you. Hello. I, I just want to take um, issue with something. Do you know of any uh, dainty little celebrities that carry around their AK-47s? Oh my God. I heard that and went, really? I'm not sure I'm She's such that. a fear monger. She really just appeals to this group of people who likes to hear all of these crazy comments. I don't know where she gets it from. Maybe someone in Hollywood is writing the script for her. Okay. Uh, Sarah Palin being the featured speaker, to be expected, what do you think she's trying to do there? <laughs> she's trying to sell books. I think she waived her speaker's fee because she knows that 70,000 people are going to be there this weekend. They're all her crowd. They're uh, people who enjoy what she has to say, and a lot of it is, we're losing our country. We have to be true patriots. Uh, Obama's going to take away your guns. Buy my books. Yeah, oh, well, you have a point yeah, right there. Yeah. Wink, wink. But, but is she doing it for anything further than selling her books? I mean, is some political agenda here? I don't How think do so. This? I think she's the perpetual candidate. I don't think she'll ever run for anything. She'll just say she's going to run for something, and she'll keep putting out books, which is what she's doing. I mean, she left the office in Alaska to sell books. Okay, w would you suggest that she is a, a populist appeal? I mean, does she? Yeah, well. Okay. And, and if so, is there a Democrat out there that can match her on that level? Uh, well, Nader, I think Nader really appealed to a certain group of people, a minority of a minority, the Green Party, and she's the Tea Party. So you have this, like, thorn in the Democrat side when it comes to Nader. She's like the thorn in the Republican side. Okay, but can Sarah Palin get votes? No, I don't think so. I mean, she didn't win. She didn't get the votes. She lost. A lot of people have forgotten that. She lost. Yeah, she lost, but you don't think she's gearing up for anything down the road? Why? I don't because think she would so. have to answer to, to journalists for everything that she says Absolutely, at that point. And we, and at this point, she, she's able to, to speak freely because she doesn't have to be held accountable. Absolutely. To a, to an she doesn't even public. have a communications director. She really doesn't like talking to journalists. A lot of people think that she's out there talking to all of us. She's not talking to the journalists. We can't really get to her. And that's the way she likes it. She likes tweeting and she likes using her Facebook. She's not talking to journalists. And if you run, you have to talk to us. Yeah, that's very true. All right, Kathy Rue, enjoy talking with you. Thank you. Good talking to you.